found this uh, solid red heart piece of cedar wood after I'd cut away some of the outside and got down to it and I uh, just thought I'd make a little video of it. Never turned a solid piece of red cedar like this that was totally red heart. Um, trying to figure out exactly the right tool to use. It has been brittle. I've broken a couple of pieces off, so I've made sure that my tools are sharp. I picked up my speed, and um, now we're gonna try to finish this thing out. Um, nothing special here because I wanna maintain the integrity of this piece of solid red heart. So I'm just gonna smooth it on out and uh, see what we uh, wind up with. Probably put a little tongue oil on it, and. Um, uh, I think it's going to be one of my more unique pieces this year. Yeah, you get down to this particular point and um, with this smoothing tool, smooths right out. Now i got to get this tip of it off and um, and then sand it, and we're gonna see what it looks like. It's always a lot of fun to get a real unique piece of wood. Uh, again, if you've been watching any of my videos, you know that I'm very much a rank amateur at this, and I'm learning. I wanna say a special thanks to so many of the people who have uh, put their videos on YouTube, and, um, uh, I've been able to learn an awful lot in a short amount of time and at some point in the future I hope I'll be halfway as good as some of these folks that I've learned from along the way. Alright, so now we're going to uh, put a little sander on this first. We're going to start with a little uh, 200 grit. Kind of smooth this thing out. Let the speed just a little bit here. I don't know if this is true. They say it's probably a good idea to wear a face mask of some type uh, when you're turning red cedar. Uh, probably would be a very good idea. And um, Sometimes we know what to do, but don't necessarily do it. And I'm gonna go up to a piece of 500. And um, again, this is gonna be a very unique piece of wood. Don't wanna put any stain on it. Just kinda wanna protect and preserve the wood and see what kind of uh, piece we wind up with. I think it's gonna be really, really good myself. All right, let me grab a little tongue oil. Let's see what we're going to do with this thing. I don't know if you hear Rick, Roost, Rick the Rooster in the background, but Rick is our Golden Lace wine dot uh, rooster, along with some of our hens. And um, he knows whenever I'm on the phone or whether I got something going on, he just loves to have a little background noise. So here we are. Oh, I think you're gonna like it. I think I'm gonna like it, that's for sure. Oh, okay, great, let's flip this off. Look at that beautiful piece of red cedar. Perfect red heart and uh, I've never done one like this but hopefully this won't be my last one. Thanks for watching. Click my subscribe button and uh, punch the like button if you did. Share some comments. I'm still learning. I'd be glad to learn from folks who know much more about this than I do. Thank you.